Hey guys, good morning. It's Pete from PeteSense.com. It is January 25th, 2010. Uh, let's run down the morning numbers. Um, ever since last night, I was looking at the futures. They were in the green. We opened up. Uh, we were up 70 points. It's uh, retraced uh, recently or currently at uh, 35 points up. So it looks like we're, we're stuck in the range, but we are in the green. Um, uh, you know, it, it looks uh, a little promising, but not, not too much, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we're looking at Dow 30, 35, 36, uh, S and P, uh, five points up and the NASDAQ at, uh, eight, nine points up. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, we, we gotta be careful. We've had, uh, like four 500 points shaved off the overall markets. Um, we are below the 50 day as far as the S and P 500, which you're looking at right now on a six month chart. And you'll see we've broke uh, this type of position before. We've broke the 50 uh, before, and we've you know, and we've ramped back up and um, got into uh, another bull rally. But uh, here we're at the same position. Uh, volume is kind of low, so we are turning. Let's see if we can push it back above the 50. It's rally just yet. Uh, if you want to call it a rally, it looked like a rally at 70 points up, but uh, like I told you, it's pulled back. Um, you know, and now is pretty much a lot of day trading going on from now to 3 o'clock, 3.30. So we're going to have to see at 3.30 the actual direction of the market to see if the bull rally uh, will continue and this was just a correction. Or if, um, you know, we're going to go into uh, worse territory. Um, you know, we're, we're just going to have to see. As far as, um, let's see, uh, I'm still holding on to my Bank uh, of America, ticker symbol BAC, and my uh, Petrobras, ticker symbol PBR, calls. I haven't bought any additional stocks just yet. I turned that losing trade uh, in equities into an investment pretty much. Why? Because I still believe in the fundamentals. So I'm still holding um, Bank, Bank of America and uh, PBR. Um, I think I got a July and August calls for both of um, for both of those stocks uh, for next year. So you know, try to regain my losses, and uh, just uh, hopefully time is on my side. They both are in. Uh, they were in negative territory. Uh, it looks like PBR is pulling back strongly again. And uh, one reason is probably oil. Oil's dipped down into the 74 range. It's, uh, in my opinion, the bottom of the barrel as far as, um, you know, the, the, the range it was trading in between 75 and 85. Uh, but I still believe in it. I'm starting to get a little concerned. But like I told you, I've turned uh, this uh, trade into an investment. So uh, I got six months to play with it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a fixed uh, price as far as uh, my losses um so i can only lose so much on the call uh on the contracts that i purchased uh, bank of america was up again but uh, again we're getting a lot of downward pressure i think in the overall market we're, we're retracing as i speak we're down to uh, 43 points up on the dow so we are we are heading uh, negative again so we'll see what happens um as far as oil like i told you a few minutes ago we're down still pushing downward it's pretty much a, a flat day so far Trading around 74, 50, 74, 30, whatever it was. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the biggest buzz on the on Wall Street is pretty much the Apple uh, tablet, uh, the iPhone 4.0. If uh, Steve Jobs is going to uh, announce these uh, new toys on Wednesday, um, Apple, thank, you know, thank God, it, it's doing very well. It was up $5 the last time I looked um, today. So if you're an Apple holder... Um, and you sold the other day and then you bought back in on the dip, uh, you're making money today because it is $5 up. Um, if you didn't sell on the rally that occurred the last month, um, eh, you lost a little bit, but now you're regaining it back. So uh, there's rumors of uh, Apple hitting uh, $250. I don't know how that's going to be. Um, I pulled up the stock here. Let me look real quick. Um, I think Apple was, yeah. Apple was, uh, yeah, it's 548 up right now, uh, close to 3% up at 203.22. Um, and it is approaching the 50 day again. It was trading uh, because of last week's dip uh, below the 50 day. So it is right on the 50 day, um, hopefully going to blow right through it. 
Um, Apple's a special stock, you know what I mean? There's a lot of believers in this, uh, from analysts to the, uh, the let's call it the Apple zombies, um, you know, the fanboys, the fangirls. Uh, I, I love Apple as well, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a great product. They always put out great products. So that's pretty much the buzz on the street. So uh, Apple can be a buy at this point, ticker symbol AAPL, if, uh, if you didn't know the uh, ticker symbol. Um, it may be a good buy. I mean, technically, it's right on and maybe a little bit above the 50 days. So you may get a lot of momentum players at this uh, at this moment if they can push it through the downward pressure of the market. The market, like I told you, is trading in a range right now. So, uh, but uh, technically, Apple looks pretty good. Fundamentally, they look good. If the announcement go in a positive note with this tablet, and the tablet is all the buzz that's been playing for the last uh, six months um and or they add uh let's say uh you know new features or a new iphone i did see a, a picture of a new iphone which looked very slick and very cool like the htc uh models um i think apple may rally to 250 you never know it's a special stock and uh it's it's like google okay so keep that in mind. Um, so right now, the buzz on the street, Apple, ticker symbol APL, and still holding on to Bank of America and Petrobras. Okay? I'll talk to you guys soon in a little bit. Uh, this is Pete from Pete2Sense.com. Thanks, guys.